Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and in this video I will be showing you a palm to palm transfer while you're holding the deck so uh, let me show you this right now now here's how it looks like you palm off any card you like for instance the queen of spades and this looks really bad from this angle to be honest so here's how it looks like you have the queen of spades in one of your palms and then in the action of grabbing the deck then it's transferred to the other palm so the queen is palmed you can palm it from your pocket or palm it from the deck whatever you want to do it can be a one-handed palm it can be one of these palms from the deck or even something that looks like this all right and once the card is palmed then you are going to do this move, which looks like this. This is quite simple. So the card is palmed, your pinky and your thumb, they are going to move, you know, kind of out. So your pinky is moving back and your thumb is also moving back a little bit. So just like that so once you have this here's what the other hand is going to do just imagine that i am holding a deck of cards in this hand and here's what this hand is going to be doing while you're holding the deck then you're going to grab the card like this and you are simply placing it down here and then the pinky and the first finger they're going to go down on the bottom of the card and while you're holding the deck you're going to be taking it up with uh, this hand and then you are simply going to do this and then the card is going to get palmed so once again uh, you palm off the card or you take it from the pocket whatever you want to do and just like this then I grab the deck and then I do this move and now I have pumped off the card and actually while you're doing this move then the deck is helping the card square up to the hand so it's not as difficult as it seems if you want to make this palm to palm transfer look beautiful then of course you have to practice it a lot and then you will be able to do it in a real life performance so that's basically it and there are other type of palm to palm transfers for instance there is one that looks something like that which i have never really practiced on but you know something that looks like this and then it's transferred from palm to palm there is this one black magician i don't remember his name but I the reason for why i'm saying black is because there are not a lot of black magicians but there is this one magician who uh, did this on a dvd as a live performance and he was talking to the spectator and then he did this move and it looked really beautiful now i don't remember his name i remember that he had a little bit of fat on his body so i remember uh, what you can do is while placing the deck or asking them like now look this i think this is your card and in the action of something like that then he did the palm to palm transfer and it looked so beautiful and that idea of misdirection can also be used to do this palm and i want to credit the book if an octopus could palm because i think it's in that book but i'm not completely sure so that's just a few credits to uh, Dan and Dave and the book If an Octopus Could Palm. So yes, anyways, if you don't know about the book, then you can probably find it in your uh, local library store, I think. So yes, I mean, it's a great move. 
I have never done it in real life, but I am sure it's possible to do since you just need to have eye contact with the spectator. And yes, I mean, if you do this move after the spectator has shuffled, so you know, let's say that they pick one card, for instance, the uh, Four of diamonds, I think it was four of diamonds. Once you have palmed off the four of diamonds, you tell them here, shuffle the deck, they shuffle it, and then once you have it back, then you tell them, do you remember your card, and then you have done the move. So yes, that was a an example, if this makes sense, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching, and I really hope that you enjoy my tutorial on this move uh, if you live in a place where you have a library which you probably have then make sure to check out if the library actually has the book if an octopus could palm because i have heard that some of the libraries in the uh, united states they do have those books i think i'm not sure anyways Thank you for watching guys and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video.